Good morning. We are talking about the middle section of Blue Boogie today. This is really measures 9 through 16. And then everything after 16 is basically the same as the beginning. So in measure 9, you've already learned this part where your left hand's on F and your right hand is in F position and you do this. The left hand comes up right next to the right hand and does this chromatic. And then we're this. And then the left hand does this like it does a hundred times of this song. Okay, now we're at measure 11. We're going to do exactly the same thing we did in measure 9, except our right hand moves again to F position one octave higher. So measure 11 is this same thing. Left hand comes up just like before. Measure 12 we're going to skip for today. We're going to talk about that later. That's the last measure of the first page. So just ignore measure 12. Okay? Measure 13, your left hand starts out with an F here. Just go ahead and play that for now, just like that. And again, the right hand moves up again, an octave to F position up here, and plays this again. And the left hand comes up just like before, and plays that chromatic, and you've played this before. There's that little octave there in the left hand on C's. I'll run through that one more time, measure 9 through 13, actually through 14, and we will omit measure 12 for now, so I'll just skip that. So again, measure 9, F position, here comes the left hand, we're going to take the right hand up, skip measure 12. Now we're into measure 13. Left hand starts by playing this F right here. The right hand goes up an octave to F position, same thing as before. And this is just like measure 10. Except here we just go down an octave to C. Instead of doing this, we just go down an octave and that's done. That's measure 14. Measure 15. It looks tricky, but it's not. Right hand is sitting in F position as usual, and it's going to play those same two things it always does. Then the left hand comes up and plays E flat and D flat. Then the right hand goes down, F position, plays the same thing as before. Left hand plays E flat and D flat. In 16, we continue, same thing, we're down an octave. And then the left hand finishes by playing C, and then etc. etc. Let's go through measures 15 and 16 one more time. Your right hand is already up here, so here's middle C. Here's one F position, just above middle C. We're up here, one octave higher than that. So this is measure 15, E flat and D flat. E flat and D flat. In terms of how you make this work, notice when you're going a little faster, your right hand ends up crossing over the left hand. And your left hand kind of goes under like this and gets out of the way. So we'll look at measure 12 next week and then you'll know the whole song.